Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I'm the dude and we're about to check out Deadwater Saloon Prologue. It's a demo on Steam which is free. Have a look at this little game that's coming out soon. Let's jump in. I've not played it yet so we'll be doing it together as always. Okay so we get to make a character. Billy. Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The dude. Thank you very much. Uh, town, Fair Chapel, Saloon, Deadfall Saloon. I don't like the sound of Deadfall Saloon, to be fair. What would I call a saloon? Dude's Den. Haha. <laughs> Handsome, having gotten by your entire life on good looks and charm, a wealthy admirer grants you a total on saloon now west, confidently have what it takes to manage, play host to what's sure to be a fine establishment. Increases our seduction and say savoir 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 far. I can't read that at all. Um also we get to choose things. Calm. Having travelled far and wide as a cook alongside one of the most famous bounty hunters in the West, he decided to settle down at last and invest in a newly built saloon. Wild West, after all, is in need of well-managed outfits, so we get to be more sneaky and better at cooking. Is that going to be important for our saloon? Are we the cook? Compassionate, devious, analytical. So we get abstraction and finances plus 30. Daring, gambling and muscle. I think this might matter if we get attacked, uh, from what I understand. You won a deed in a, in a poker game. Gives you ownership of a brand new saloon on a wild front. I think we're going to go with that and get a bit of muscle. So hey, look, Weasley. Oh, strong chin. These look a bit evil, some of these, don't they? Go for him. Um, okay, have we got any points to actually... We've got 40 points to put on to what we want. So... I don't know, what, what is this? Oh, hello. Using the events and townspeople interaction contributes to befriend success roles. Saloon refinement rating. Okay, so that sounds important. Uh, finances, we've already got plus... No, we haven't. Uh, using events and townspeople contributes to blackmail success rolls. Supply purchase costs. Take that down a little bit. So, is this us cooking? Saloon cooking rating. Food revenue increased with each point. Ooh. We're going to be selling food. Drama. The music, man. Get me G'd up. Leadership would be a good one, right? Dual success. Okay, so economy, normal. This is just the, the world, I guess. We'll just go normal, normal, normal. Show player avatar. Um. Do we want to see us? Oh, sod it. I'll just go as it was set up. As it's made to be. Okay, a new beginning. You are dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the musty smell and wonder who is more insane. The man who put you up or put up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere or the one who will manage it. There are a few good things going for the place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building and there are rumours that a railroad track will be coming by soon as well. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be a spot for a booming town one day, with a bustling main street and a train station bringing in supplies and travellers. Maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. Demo and prologue versions of the game, and when, it, when the in-game calendar reaches February... Oh, the end. Of course, it end. 25th of February. So we ain't got long. 
I guess. That's really not long. <laughs> okay. So, tutorial. Introduction to game mechanics. Uh, 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 okay. Move your camera by using WASD. Scroll in and out using them. Zoom in or out with the mouse wheel. Oh, that actually worked. It didn't for a sec. Ro finally rotate by either using the mouse wheel, Q or E. Cool. Above, you'll find your personal stats, health stress, action points, and town opinion. Okay. Stress, is it? Stress. Character something. Both will lead to death if they get too low. Oh, crud. Okay. Above, you'll find your saloon stats. Total cash daily. Profits and loss. Okay. Manage your cash carefully, especially early on, until you start getting enough customers to sustain your operation. You'll find your booze and food inventory. Purchased in crates, 200 from local businesses are built in your town. You'll need to wait a few hours for a trapper to come to your town before purchasing any booze or food, though. Okay, here are our saloon ratings. Overall, saloon rating is scored by the following subsections Frame, fame, refinement, entertainment, service, drinks, food, and muscle. I've got muscle. Your overall saloon rating depends how to turn. Blah, blah, blah. This is build panel. See so if you tug. Eh, okay, floor toggle. Build. Edit, erase. Makes sense. View toggle. We've got to push it. Okay. Oh, we take the house down. Okay. Yep. You want me to push them? Gotcha. And then we can see all the bits and pieces that we can do. You can see the items available. We suggest having a barrel or a trunk to increase storage. You can choose to build whatever you want. Does it tell you how much storage they have? Plus 50. Plus 50. Plus 200 stock. Why don't I get a backroom shelf? That seems like a good idea. 200. 200. These are, these are better. Oh, let's zoom right in. Okay, so place the item anywhere in your saloon. So say we want to... You want to be right in front of there, don't you? So that you come in. Also... Know for next time you can rotate using Z and C. Shift to snap a floor item to the grid. Interesting. Continue giving you tips and advice. Yeah, let's go. We have a shelf. What else can we build? Bar, mahogany. Mm. Bar, walnut. How much money we got? 700 odd. Nice. This offers storage, plus 50 storage for this. 200 storage for this one. Okay, so that's not gonna go nicely. That's annoying. Uh, can I just have it in the corner? No. I'll just put it there. It gives me storage. And I got my shelf there as well. Sweet. Can I have another shelf? Loads of storage. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to want to get some tables as well, right? For people. Um, entertainment. Cool. Furniture. Table and chairs. They're expensive, but then you're going to be paying 12 for... Oof. Yeah, he might as well get table and chairs together, isn't you? do it. How's that? Now what? Oh, Trapper. A shanty is being constructed right alongside your saloon. It would seem a roughly clothed Trapper. A true western pathfinder has moved into town to provide their goods. Be sure to check their wares once they open for business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. It's getting built there, look. Ooh, ooh. Got our well there. Is there anything else we need? Should we, um, so can we make this look cool? Do we, do we have to build the rooms as well? Like, do we go upstairs? Lighting would be good. 
Uh, we'll get some candles on the tables. Have a candle each. I don't want to waste my money. It's cool that we can put them anywhere on all the tables and bits. Alright. We got a chandelier with antlers right in the middle. Cool. So that's going to be lit up. What else have we got? Structure. We can make rooms. Nice. Doorway. Wallpaper. We can we can paint the walls. Hmm. So go to utility. A stove. So we need that for cooking. So that does stove, wood, stew, cast iron. We just start off with this. Do we need a separate room? Should we make a room for a kitchen? Uh, hang on. I don't know how big we want a kitchen. Uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Thank you. Doorway. Right there. That go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there's our kitchen. Um, can we get the utility? We get a stove. Anything else we need? Kitchen shelf. That'd be cool. Can we get it across the wall? Ah, that's better. Yeah. Cutting table. What's this for? Food rating. Ah, something like that might be useful. Um, let's get a cutting table. Okay, we have a kitchen. Excellent. Hey, there we go. Okay, so what do we do now? Oh, looks like you still haven't hired any staff for your saloon. From the staff screen, you can either hire staff that live in your town, very few at first, or you can import a staff member from out of town by using the tabs. Remember, out of town hires take back about a day or so before they arrive in your saloon. Where's the hire staff? Ooh. So we need a barkeep and a cook. We can get a piano player and a server. Ooh. We can get prostitutes and bouncers and croup. Oh man, this is going to be sweet. Um. So let's get let's get a barkeep. <laughs> oh hi, no local staff. Let's import. What are you? Cook, bouncer, croupier, barkeep. You're the only barkeep here, so we shall hire you. Yes. Uh, I don't want to cook as well. Yeah, we'll hire you. And a server. Well, that sounds like a good idea, right? That's all we need for to start up, I should imagine. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, what was that? Just flew out of my mouth. Like dust. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, hello. So the trap is built. Hello. BD. <laughs> BD Rogers. So, um, how we do? What can I purchase? Purchase the business? Okay, how much? Can I purchase the business? They don't make any money or anything right now. That's probably not a good idea to make that kind of purchase right this. Restock when low. Purchase them. Not enough action points. Wait, I need action points? Action points resets daily at midnight. So I've got a, I've, I've ordered food, and I'm going to order the crude liquor. All these little things up here, nothing being researched. Whoa, what? We can oh, food and booze research. Rock gut. That's our first alcohol beverage, I guess. And then is that we can only do one thing at a time, so we can then do some food. 
pemmican? That's like Rimworld. It's the the stuff that lasts ages, right? Oh, cool. Uh, okay, how do we get out of this? This this button? Is this the button? No. Let's do this one. Okay, so what else we got up here? Missing one or more requirements to serve drinks. We need a recipe, which we've got. We've hired everyone we need. Missing a recipe for food, which we're going to get that sorted as soon as we can. A new business has been built. A new house has been built. No more action points for today. Oh. What's the time? We've got to wait for... We've got 200 food, though. Or 200 bottles of... Of food. Uh, drink. Is that because we bought it? And it's going to restock when I'm low. Oh my days. Is this my daily out? We Oh, it's because we bought everything as well. It's not going to be how much it's going to be from now on, right? Ooh. Storage. We've got a thousand storage. I think storage is pretty good. Considering. Hello. Oh, hello. Look at this. They come with their sheeps. Little birds. That's it. Busy road, they said. Right, what? Pickles Wilson. Patrice. These are my staff. You're in here. You're my cook, Colleen Bell. So Pickles, Patrice, and Colleen. My little people. Yeah. This is cool. So we've got action points now, right? But we have food and drink, so we ain't got to worry about that. Can we look at the... Yeah, we'll... We'll start with dill pickles. I think that's a good idea. Okay. So we'll get the dill pickles research going. Lovely. We've just got to wait for people. Uh, I mean, we're not making any money right now, but can we get entertainment? Hmm. Let's have a look. We can get a piano. Get an upright piano. Oh man, yeah. Entertainment. That's cool. And we can hire someone to play it. Hire. Out of town. Piano. We can get. Looks a bit day. Excellent. Have a piano player in a minute. It's gonna be nice. Um, tell you what, do you want a light in there? Let's get some things done here. Decor? No, lighting. So, yeah, we'll give you a wall sconce down the end there. Uh, I don't know how much this is gonna light up. I didn't really look during the night. But at least you got something in the kitchen when it does. Um,. So, service, we've got 106. Entertainment's gone up. Refinement, fame, none, obviously. We've got no one coming. Please, stop by and come to our saloon. Come on, pull up your horse. Come on in for some dill pickles or some rock gut. Serve this man. Do I have to do anything? Remove, rob, jewel, murder. Oh man, we can do it. There's a lot of choices going on. Befriend. Oh, you're gonna get. How about a side dish of against scur what scurvy? We got any more research we can do? Let's get some celery going. We need different food types. I don't want just dill pickles. All right, we got more people coming in. We're making money. What's this? Capacity, 32. That's not bad. Sweating like a whore in church. Wow, you got a potty mouth. Hey, oh, that's my piano player. Oh, we need some lighting for you, my friend. It's getting dark. Um, these are good. Okay, that, these are much better than the candles. Uh, can I take the candles off? 
Hmm. There we go, we're making money. Really small amount of money. Oi, a pig farm. A smell overtakes the breeze as a pig farmer arrives with their herd. Setting up a pig farm in the midst of town may seem an inconvenience, but the pig farm will provide game meat and an efficient way to dispose of any unwanted remains, corpses accumulated by any devious activity. Also, aren't those pigs just undeniably cute? Really? What's a pig? Alright, so... What, are they setting up right next door? Is that necessary? It's a pig farm, man. You're gonna scare off all my people with the poo smell. Goodness me. Okay. Can we get like any rugs or anything like that? Is that was that on there? Uh, decor. Yes, we can get rugs. Look at this. Ooh, right in front of the. That fits nicely. Need one for the door as well. Uh, rug square. Hmm. Look at that, we don't have that going all the way up, could we? I suppose we could. Who needs it all the way up, hey? No one. He's still sitting in there drinking my rock gut. Okay. What's happening? We. Let's get another booze choice. Fire water. I like it. Seems like a plan. Alright, let's talk to these. So we can now dispose dump bodies. <laughs> with lower stress, we can play with the pigs. Grig greased pigs. It's a game. We can own a pig? This will lower stress. Ah, oh, okay. That's pretty cool then. So if we get super stressy. We'll go in there and uh, play with some piggies. Looks pretty good. Right, let's have a look. What else is around this area? Ah, this is where the houses are getting built over here. I see. Nice. Rogers family and Hall family. BD Rogers. I know it must be the piggy people are called Hall. So anyone that builds a business here is going to have a house over there. And they shall become my customers. There's a bird on roof. On to roof. Bit of effort with the birds gone in here. They're actually flying around. There we go. Are you going in there? Because that's a pig farm. No. You're just bringing your pigs around there. Okay. Very good. Clever pigs are clever. I'm going to turn that music down. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit loud. It didn't seem to do much, but it took the edge off. Right, he's riding his horse. Come on. So when this goes up into the plus, that's going to be good, right? Profit or loss? Look at this. We've got people sitting at all our tables now. Yeah. Rock gut. Give them rock gut. Wait for more research till we can unlock more stuff. Hello. You're going about your day minding your own business when you are suddenly witness to Beady Rogers, the trapper, standing outside naked, basking in the sun. Privates out and all. Oof. Okay. Avert your eyes. Convince yourself you didn't see anything. Threaten to sue them if they don't mind cover themselves that instant. Uh, take your own clothes off and join them. <laughs> 
What on earth? Uh, I mean, we got the best chance to do that. Let's just do that. Fail. You shamelessly drop your garbs and step outside to join them. But at the sight of you, B.D. Rogers cowers away, disappearing into the confines of their building. You stand alone, left wondering if you scared them off because you weren't invited, or the sight of your naked body. <laughs> the stress level went up four. <laughs> and the opinion went down five. Oh, man. Okay. Good service around it. Yeah, it is. We've got you. Oh, looks like we got a research. Let's get some pemmican going. Next booze we can do. We can be looking at Tangle Leg. And then Pamper Piss. <laughs> oh dear. We can get through the food. I mean, these are worth like a dollar old fashioned turkey right at the bottom here. That's where we're going to make our money rather than the 20, 20 cents or. We're losing money each day though. We need to really sort that out. It's different. It's a bit like playing Recipe for Disaster, but we're <laughs> you're in the Wild West and there's a lot of other things you can do too, like gambling. Thank you. If you need anything else, just holler. Oh, in the deafening silence, a lone traveler pulls out a banjo and begins strumming a classic tune. Everyone can hear they're not very good. Their instrument badly out of tune. Someone asks you to spare everyone their sanity and stop the noise. Before you get a chance to do it, someone fires a shot and the banjo player falls dead. As the customers and townsfolk clamor to their feet, you catch the gunman with his pistol raised and... Oh my days. I have no firepower. Uh crack a joke and break the, the tension but they just killed someone we can't do that we're not really the sheriff are we grab your firearm and shoot we got a firearm apparently let's do it fail you draw your own firearm and fire the gunman ducks and he fires back at you they clip your arm causing you to fall to the floor yourself the gunman escapes before anybody can stop him you're met with looks of reverence so several customers volunteer to remove the body of the banjo player to bury them someplace out of town i get plus to my injury uh, the fair chapel opinion went up and the dude fame went up so that was probably a good thing but we got an injury um okay we're on february the 4th remember we can only go up to the 25th we'll try and do as much as we can in one episode save us coming back to keep looking at it until the full game is released oh that's a bit rude <laughs> he's swearing wow no need for this all right, we're minus 28 a day at the moment, so, I mean, that's that's not bad. We need to keep hold of some money. Do not spend anything else. Just got to wait and see it through. I think we're paying too much wages, maybe. Oh, my God, everyone says it as they go out, do they? Oh, my. What's this? Light wound, 20 hours. Doctor building required to heal immediately. That's okay. Hotter than hell around here. So I wonder if we'd have put on show avatar, would it have been our character in here? Because our character's not here. Come on, you. Get in here and drink. At least we're getting more customers. We got the pemmican going. Uh, we're gonna get the roast jackrabbit. We keep getting some food options on. I wonder if eventually we can become sheriff of the town, like ruler. Blacksmith, prepare for mornings and afternoons interrupted by the clanging of metal and hammers. Best rest assured, the trade-off of having a local blacksmith will be tenfold. With their forge, bellows and anvil, they are sure to provide nails, horseshoes and firearms. 
All welcome additions to the town economy. Very nice. So if I push tab, it takes me to the front of the building. Okay, cool. So where's the blacksmith go? Oh, he's going in here. Cool. Not far. A wise man comes up the road and tells you it takes a studious mind to know how to properly serve grub and spirits to clientele. Don't be an arrogant saphead. Research your product or you can't serve them, Jack. A business selling a new type of drink or food has been built in your town. Remember, it's not enough to just purchase stock from them and start selling. You must also have at least one recipe researched in that particular family as well. What? Someone else is setting up a business? No. Someone nearby, maybe. I'm researching food like no one's business, alright? This is cool. What can we buy from you? So we can get nails and horseshoes. We can play with these. Lowers my stress. Let's go play. Uh, we can purchase that some point we might we'll see a depressed looking woman face concealed under a hat asks for prayers for a dying father you bow your head theology eight percent fail <laughs> we're not very good are we and art of something barely distinguishable as a sentence she remains downcast finishing her drink and moseying out okay we are really not doing well with our public relations here action points available we've got action points we're good we're all good we got any bodies to get rid of stress reduction I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the pigs there we go do we need a toilet or anything like that is that something we can build uh, it's a utility isn't it? no I guess not Do we need a stove for cooking stew? Does that give me more research options? We will see. Na, na, na. It's quite relaxing. Hello. A traveller feels entitled to let you know how disappointed they are with the service. Your service is unsatisfactory. I don't think so. Alright, we've got whoever her name is out there, Colleen. Tell them you're so sorry and it won't happen again. Savoie. <laughs> Make an example of your staff in front of the whole saloon. No, we ain't doing that. Success! You take full responsibility and explain that it was an odd day and that it will not, under any circumstances, happen again. They appear to be moved by your response and apologize themselves. Wow. We got some more fame. We sorted that out. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Fame is five. Thank you. Farewell. Okay. Goodbye. We need more money. We need to make lots more money. We're not going to reach our capacity. So we ain't got to worry about expanding anything. Um. Hmm. So we can go up a floor. This is where we'll have all of our uh, filthiness. Can we build stairs? Structure. No. Is it a utility? No. Decor. No. Furniture. No. A stage. Oh, cool. Elaborate stage. Loads of entertainment. What's our entertainment at? 37. Some more entertainment might be a good thing. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's stick it on the wall over here. Oosh. Can you, can you do that? No? What's wrong with you? Alright, we'll have it there then. Be like that. 
There we go. Our entertainment level's gone up a little bit. We need to make more money. We're spending too much. Come on. Oh, research. Wild goose. First, get me some fire water, then I'll stop asking. Okay. Well, we have one service person in here, so you just have to wait. They will come and take your orders any moment. Oh, yes, pickles. Pickles. Okay. Looking good. Got our businesses going. Oh, there's all the cows. It is a busy road, they're absolutely right. Maybe we should go out there and steal the cows. No, no. This must be a responsible, reputable, amazing business where people wish to go, not through fear. I wonder if we can get more entertainment. Although we are going to get really short on money. If we're going to be minus 26 per day, that's only really going to give us a few more days. Hmm. Shifty Hall openly expresses their appreciation of you and your saloon. You're one. You look. You're my twin. You're one swell bonanza. They say I'll be sure to keep coming. I'm back. Shifty Hall opinion plus five. Thank you, twin. Everyone's eating the pemmican, drinking the fire water. It's what we want. Everyone, keep coming in. Oh yes, we've got drinks, 31, food, 30, muscle, all right. Are we good? We're getting there, we've got nine people, it's uh, pretty good. I wonder if we can get some bar stools. We, no, stop. Oh, what? Uh, our money's gone up. <laughs> our money's gone up. Oh my God, this is amazing. We're making a little tiny bit of money. Yes. You can hear him just about tickling those keys down there. Dab, dab, peck, peck, glint, growl, snarl. I don't know what that was all about. Hey, if I will make my day right about now. Good. You came in with a bottle though, didn't you? Have another one. Just what the doctor ordered. Sounds like your doctor has not got your best interests at heart. Hmm. Fire water. Goodness me. Look at the amount of people coming in and out compared to when we started, man. This is awesome. We could do it. Oh, our money went down. Money's gone down. No, 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 no. That's because we've had to buy stock. That's what it is. That's okay. Because we got it to set on buy when it gets low, so we ain't got to keep going back and buying it. Yeah, because it's no good if we run out of anything, is it? Let's face it. We can get whiskey, bourbon, gin, beer, wine, rum, tequila, man, and all the, what is this, foods, cigars, coffee, opium, opium, blimey, dessert, heavy meat, light meat, grain, and you got game, okay, let's have a look at this, so, we're going to go on to booze now. We're going to get Tangle Leg. We've done a bunch of foods. What's this one? 
Dill Stewart has increased in staff level. So what can I do about that? Um, so they, do they gain stats? Maximum possible skill level for this character. Hours to next level staff affects ratings all staff occupant patients as well as earnings from activities. Do you earn 851? Well, that's not Dill, it's Dit. My piano player is that they all like me. It's all good. Um, cool. I mean, we'll pay you what you want. Whoa, Pickles is getting a lot of money. Our poor little Colleen is not. Oh well, she's probably earning it in tips. Going to the tables. Hey, cows. I think we're going to play until about day 10. I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, maybe we could come back for another episode because I'm kind of enjoying this. Just to see what happens. It might help us decide whether we want to get the full game or leave it as a prologue. Just a demo. If you guys really enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. If you've played it and all that jazz, see what you can do. How did you run your saloon? Are you a murderous villain that hit him in the pigs? Hmm. Okay, you keep telling me about this, but I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know if I can do anything. Does it just happen on its own? So I think the, the higher they go up in level, the more they're going to get paid. So she's getting paid the most because her level's 10. I think that's going to be the only, only thing there. Oh, we've got to buy stock again, have we? No. Just the day's money come out. Okay. Once we get near capacity, then we maybe can hire more staff. Another server or... I don't know. Maybe another cook. I don't know. Doesn't take long. Dit Stewart seems to have lost their rhythm. Botching songs so bad you wonder if they knew how to play the piano at all. Go rile them up. <laughs> Mix them a drink that will get them playing extremely well. Let them be. If they suck, it's your own fault for hiring them. No, oh, wait. Um, get the creative juices flowing. Fail. Share some stories of when you felt a little offbeat, but it seems to backfire. Dit Stewart continues to play like poo until they can't even stand their own playing anymore and slam the fist on the keys. When they walk by you, they seem to resent your very presence. Thank you. No need for that. Oh well, we have, we have got more entertainment over here. There's a dartboard. That's about all we can afford. <laughs> Anyone else going to move in? Or we just got to wait for money? I mean, um... What else can we buy? We could do a gambling table. Get a entertainment, a bed for a brothel. <laughs> okay. Um... We get a roulette wheel. That'd be really cool. Uh, now we need a, a croupier, right? Uh, hire staff. Hire. From away. Server, bouncer, barkeep, cook, piano. There's no croupiers. Oh, no. That's okay. What am I supposed to do? 
Or does it reset every day? Let's see. See what happens. How oh, the housing coming over, over here? We've got three homes. Lovely. How far can we zoom out? Okay, cool. Be good when the railroad comes as well, wouldn't it? Bye bye. <laughs> Who's going to get me off? <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, your more carnivorous customers are sure to welcome the butcher. Having come west seeking opportunity and profit, feeding hungry pioneers, they are sure to provide both light and heavy meats. It makes you hungry just thinking about it. Unless you're not one for meat, that is. So once they're built, we can then we can get the light and heavy meats. We'll provide more to our customers. You notice Berth and Miller stop at the entrance. Consider entering. Um, who's Berth and Miller? What? Well, what should I? This is the highest chance. Fail. Raise your arms. We won't regret joining in the revelry, but at the mere sound of your voice, they are unconvinced and walk away. <laughs> Whoever that is. No idea. I need a croupier. Is there one on there yet? Oh, croupier! We got you or you. You're level 8. You're cheaper. We're going to hire you. Because we're poor. I didn't get off on rocks, I'm gonna murder someone. Man, it's a bit a bit much. Oh, we've got research going, so we can get partridge. I think that's gonna be good, especially as we're gonna be able to get the light and heavy meats. I'm gonna make a bit more money on that. Alright. There's the butcher. Let's go have a look. So yeah, restock when low. We'll have them, thanks. There we go, we just bought a load and we're so poor right now. How's our storage going? We're only at 500 out of 1,000, so to be honest, the storage is holding up nice. I think I need to go play with a pig. What's it cost me? Seventeen fifty? No. A showman comes in with a pet monkey and asks if they might put on a show for your customers. They are willing to negotiate a rate to split based on tips. Say so yes and negotiate fair compensation. Yes. I fail. He agrees to split and shake on it. The monkey puts on a decent show, swinging off the showman's back, the walls, the ceiling, and juggling a series of balls and pins. Customers seem delighted. So we've got a few opinions go up and we made fifty dollars. That's really good. I got you a chopping block, right? What's it do? No one knows. Um, I'm going to get you a stew stove as well, just in case that's something we can't do without. Oh my goodness, it's huge. No, no we're not. That's ridiculous. Fabe's got up to 10, which is good. We need more little events like that for money. Need to get my research to keep that going as well. Awesome. Look at all these people turning up. This is wonderful. Look at our capacity growing. Ah. Oh. 
might need to get more tables and chairs. People are standing up. Holy moly, for better or worse, an opium den has arrived. Providing a town with opium supply and a quiet place to recline. Hold opium pipes over oil lamps and inhale sweet poppy vapours. Many will succumb to the promise of opium's guaranteed recreational and pain-killing properties. They also provide knives and loans. Do business at your own risk. What? Like a loan shark? Well, I guess we can borrow money from them. That's good. That could be really handy if we want to keep it going. We can also buy opium from them. Um, for our people. I guess we can sell it here. Interesting. Essentially drug dealing, but back then it it was not. So uh oh, you find a trail. Oh, a frail-looking traveller leaning against the wall behind your saloon. Barely conscious, it's clear they've been frequenting the opium den and have overdosed. By the looks of things, they may not have long to live. We ain't going to be able to treat them. Roll up your sleeves and teach them a lesson they'll never forget. <laughs> That's not really good, is it? Mix a drink and pour it down their throat to wake them up. Oh. Right, let's just teach them a lesson. Fail. You hoist them by the scruff, lift and... Lifting to rough them up. They regain consciousness enough to look at you angry in the face. They suddenly retaliate, overpowering your grip. and throwing you aside before you can do anything. They run off in the distance. There are many people present who witnessed your cruelty. Oh, yeah, and that was a bit naughty. I'm sorry. Couldn't help it. I had to try these things in this demo. Drive a nail in your coffin. A bit harsh. Wait, we're nearly making good money now. Look, minus four, minus one. We're going to start making actual profits. Yes, here we go. We're making money. Very good. Um, we need to de-stress a bit, I think. So we're going to have to go and stroke some pigs or something. All right, let's go talk to the opium den. Um... We can sell it at the saloon. Just, yeah, we'll buy it when it's low. Why not? Why the hell not, hey? You can have anything you want when you come to the dude's den. We sort you out. Every need. Um, if I can build upstairs, then I'll sort out even more needs. <laughs> yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. Okay, let's have a look. Whoop. Can we actually build upstairs? Structure room I reckon they're not gonna put it into the um, into the demo what do you reckon doorway it's not letting us do it upstairs um hmm yeah possibly not then never mind we'll go back down okay right we've got research to do we can have wild turkey. We're going to start making some actual money here. Come on. I'll tell you what, I'm going next door. I'm going to stroke a pig. We're doing so well. De stress a little bit. I'm selling opium, booze, and food. Oh yeah, my gambling table. I've not even had a look at that yet. Ah, general store. It was only a matter of time before the town gained a general store. And at last it has arrived, sure to provide wares such as coffee, cigars, whiskey and firearms. No matter how you look at it, the general store is an economic cornerstone for a growing town along with your saloon, of course. Oh, you gambling? Go on. Spend your money. Can we make a little dirty room? Let's do it. Um, why not? Room. Yep. 
Yeah. Dirty room. Doorway. Yeah. Um, and we'll put one of them beds in here. Entertainment, please. My brothel. Ah, won't fit in here. How big does it need to be? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Uh, oh, hang on. No, maybe it's the erase button. Bob, 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 Bob. Yeah. When we go back, we build some more. Wait, can we build the bed first, maybe? Yes. There we go. And now we'll build the walls. I need a light in there so everyone can see what they're getting for their money. You know what I'm saying. Everyone can look through the window as well. Do we do curtains? Decoration. Uh, we do posters and paintings and stuff. A mirror. Okay, there you go. Have a mirror. Dirty. Ah! Rumors abound of a band of outlaws sweeping through the region, robbing and slaughtering as they go. There is a reward for $1,000 for their leader's capture, an ex miner who goes by the name of Chop, Wesley James. Let's hope they don't come here. There is danger on the horizon. Uh oh. But first, we must hire a prostitute. Thank you, Beth Smith. You will do. I will hire you. There we go. When she gets here, she might earn us some money. We've already gone past day 10. Oh man, I can't control it. All right, yeah, I'll leave that one here and we'll see what the attack's gonna bring in the next part. I'll um, I'll make another video after this one. We'll try and get to the 25th or thereabouts in the two episodes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Dead Water Saloon. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty good little game and um, we'll, uh, we'll continue on on the next episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And until the next one, take care. The dude is out.